Hello everyone, my name is Sophia and today I'm here to talk about my favorite audiobooks ever. So, I've been listening to audiobooks since 2017, I'm pretty sure, and I've read quite a few. I used to be, I used to have an Audible membership, but now I have a Scribd membership, and I, I personally enjoy it more, but I am an avid audiobook reader. Out of the 13 books I read this month, 10 were audiobooks. So yeah, I've read quite a few, I can say that, and I just wanted to talk about the ones that I think were well-made, like the most well-made, and just stuck with me, and I think my experience reading the book was enhanced because of the format. So I'm gonna talk about first about two books that are quite popular, and everybody who's talking about audiobook recommendations is going to talk about these two. So just get these out of the way and then go to the rest of them. So first off is... Oh my god! Illuminae by J. Christopher and Amy Kaufman. If you've been looking for audiobook recommendations, you've definitely heard this. But I'm just going to say it one more time because it definitely is amazing. I mean, it deserves... If you don't know, it's told in mis mixed media format, so epistolary, and the audiobook is full cast, and they have sound effects, they have, like, they, it really immerses you into the stories. It feels like you're reading, listening to, uh, to, like, what's the name? To, like, files of a famous case, you know, the Illuminae Files. And I would actually recommend reading physically while listening to the audiobook because the physical format has really cool stuff that if you're reading this for the first time, I would not want you to miss out on certain pages here, which I think are great. And But also, I wouldn't want you to miss out on the audiobook because it's frankly amazing. It's worth all the hype, the book and the audio. The next book I'm going to talk about, that is the other quite popular one, is The Diviners by Libba Bray, narrated by January Lavoie. So, January Lavoie is one of my favorite audiobook narrators. She's a master at, like, inflicting emotions with little, like, without taking you out of the story and, like, seeming fake. She's a real voice actress. And she's great at doing other people's voices. She's great at delivering lines the way they're supposed to be delivered. And I just think, besides The Diviners being a really good story, I think January Lavoie's narration really brings this to a whole new level. And I would highly recommend, if you're thinking of reading this, going to through the audiobook format. The next one, two, three, four books I'm going to talk about are ones that I don't have physically and they're not as popular so I've, re I've watched quite a few audiobook recommendation videos and I, I haven't seen these recommended much so I'm gonna talk about them. The first one is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager his newest release it's a adult thriller set in this old apartment building and people are going missing and it's really fun and it's great. So Lock Every Door, it's kind of a weird thriller because it's quite fun to read. Like, I was having so much fun, weirdly. While people are, like, going missing, I was having the time of my life, but it was really good. And the narration. The name of the narrator is Dylan Moore. I haven't been able to find another audiobook narrated by her, but she's really good. Like, she's a true voice actress, just like January Lavoie. And her, her strong suit is not doing other people's voices, like men's voices or voices higher or lower. Her strong suit is doing emotion, inflicting emotion in simple sentences. And like there was one sentence in the climax of the book where she just said like, she said, someone's here. And she said in such a chill chilling way, oh my God, it was so good. Um, the audiobook definitely brought this book. I, would, I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much if I had not listened to it. The next book I'm going to talk about is 
one I'm actually reading right now, I'm 75% of the way through it. I'm listening to it through script. And it is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain or something. I'm going to list it down below, as I always do. I list all the books I mentioned down below. And it's full cast. And it's mixed media too, so it's mostly like uh, or audio recordings or interviews. But like the narrators are so good. Like when when they're having a conversation, as in they're being interviewed, they really feel like they're having a conversation because sometimes audiobook narrators just say like j they just say their line and they don't they don't like react to the other people saying they just act the line. So I think this book is really, really good. Like there are some emotions that are really well done by certain actors. And it just feels, it feels like you're listening to a true interview, not just like people reading, so why did you do this? I was like, so why did you do, why did you do this? My accent oh, is fucking killing me today. I cannot speak English right, correctly. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> Carrying on, um, the next book I'm going to talk about is On the Come Up by, her name is Angie Thomas. I had to change the light a little, but she's written some other book called The Hate You Give. It's really popular. It became a movie. Everybody knows about it. It's freaking amazing. Everybody should read it or has read it. And she has this other book called On the Come Up. It's about this rising rap star who's like 16 or 17, like my age. And it's a really good book, but I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much if I hadn't read the audio because it, it is narrated by Bonnie Turpin, one of my other favorite audiobook narrators. It's her, Bonnie Turpin, and January Lavoie. They're both amazing. But Bonnie Turpin, I can't really say what she does great it's just that i love her voice and i love her way of saying things of stating things of narrating and i think she's great i can't really give you a reason why except that she's really good <laughs> but the books as brie the main character is a rising rap star the book has raps like written in it and like in the audiobook bonnie turpin actually raps was written there and it's so good because like if you would just you know, if I would have just read the rap it wouldn't have had that much of an impact but hearing Bonnie Turpin sing it and rap it and her flow and all of that was was great really added much more to the story and I would say that the best way the definitely definite best way to read on the come up is through the audio because oh man it's amazing the last book, last book I'm going to talk about English is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. And it is about, it's like this life of this girl called Xiomara. And it's just her life, her as a poet, her with her family. And I didn't love it. I thought it was good. But the audiobook it's written in verse right it's written like poetry but it's not it's not a collection of poems it's a whole story it's written in verse so the the narrator for the audiobook is elizabeth azevedo herself and so she brings what she in, exactly what she intended to write and the way she intended to for the words to sound and for the musicality to flow she narrates it in her audiobook so i think that's a uh, an experience you just really can't miss because like you have the actual writer of the poem reading the poem to you the way they wanted it to be read so i think that really really added a lot to the story and added a lot of emotion too because i'm not the biggest poem reader actually i don't i don't mix well with poetry at all but when it's read to me like that it turns out i really enjoy it and so yeah, I think that's a really good way to read The Poet X. So, yeah, that's it. That was my video on my favorite audiobooks. My name is Sophia. I list, I, I'm going to list every book I talked about below. And, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!